How to use the art history tool with symmetry in Photoshop. Sadly, the art history tool does not include a symmetry feature, but you can fake it using the standard brushes and history states. You can also combine the art history with filters, adjustments and styles for even more amazing designs. Go to the brush tool and you can see the symmetry option appear. Go to the art history and there's nothing. Select the brush tool, select the brush preset, then go to the symmetry options. Select mandala. Then set the segment count to eight. Click OK. Then press return to finalize the symmetry. Apply multiple brush strokes, change the color, change the size, apply them in different parts of the image. Once you've done that, go to the window menu and history. That will bring up the history panel. In the history panel, you will see already I've created some snapshots. These are also symmetrical designs. You can add your existing image to those snapshots by going to the right side menu and new snapshot. Once you've done that, you can use those snapshots as history states for your art history tool. For the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to be using the art history brush, so I don't want the symmetry option available. So go over to symmetry and set symmetry to off. Go to the art history tool. It may be in a different position depending on customization. Once you've selected that, go to the brush preset, select the brush preset for it, set the size as well as the style. I'm using loose long initially. I'm gonna use layers. So go to the layer menu and new layer. Click okay. Apply the art history to that new layer. Straight away you can see the symmetry coming through. It will never create a seamless pattern, but you've got a certain level of symmetry there. What you can also do, of course you can apply your art history brush with one history state, but you can always go over to the history panel again and then change the history state to another and then continue to apply that across the image. I'm going to fill the entire document with black and start again. So edit menu and fill and then go to layer and new layer. Go to the history panel, go to the top of the history panel and you see all the history states. Go to the left side and select the history state. Just select one of those and then apply that brush stroke to the current layer. As you move around the layer, you can see your history state applied by the art history brush. It's sort of weaving in and out, creating these lovely symmetrical designs. If you're unhappy with your work, you can undo. You can also just go to the layers panel and delete the layer. I'm using a default art history brush stroke, but you can always go to the window menu and brush settings and change color, etc. Go to layer menu, new layer, Click OK, then go to the history panel and select one of those snapshots as a new history state. Apply the art history brush to that new layer. You can see the blues and the pinks of that history state applied across the image, again, fairly symmetrically. As the brush stroke has been applied to a layer, you can use blending modes. So go to the layers panel and go to the blending modes at the top for the layer and then just run through them. You can use difference, darken, lighten, exclusion, etc. The blending modes are applied interactively. Go to the layer menu, the new layer, click OK. Then go to the history panel, go up to the snapshots again, go to the left side and select one of those for a new history state. Apply the art history brush across the image. Apply it in different parts of the image. You don't have to apply it all over the entire image. You can also go to the history panel, and select a different history state at any point. Go to a layer menu, new layer, and then click OK. You can continue to apply the art history brush to that. You can create hundreds of different layers and apply multiple different art history brushes to those. With the art history brush selected, go to the top bar and you can see a style option. It's got a drop down. Basically go through those, you can select those. There's curl, there's dab, there's tight long, and many, many others to try. Just run through them, find which one you're happy with. I'm gonna continue with tight long. Apply the art history brush around the entire image again. You can see that lovely painterly design that's created with that art history brush. Once you're happy with that, you can go over to the layer menu 
and new layer. Click OK. Go to the history panel and then go to the snapshots. Select the one that you created earlier. Click the left side box to select as a history state. Apply the Ars History brush across that layer. Go to the layers panel, set the blending mode to multiply. Then you can also go to a layer menu and flatten image. What you can then do is apply filter effects via the filter menu, such as oil paint. I want to use them as layers, so go to the edit menu and undo. With the layer selected, go to the layer menu, layer styles and bevel and boss. So what you can do, you can add a style to it, give it some depth. Once you're happy with that, click OK. Go to the layers panel, select a different layer. Then go to the layer menu, layer styles and bevel and boss. Change the depth, change the size, as well as maybe add a shadow. Click OK. Go to the layers panel and select a different layer. And then go again to the bevel and boss, drop shadow, etc. And vary them over and over again. Once you're happy with that, you can go to the layer menu and flatten image. You can now use adjustments. Go to the image menu, adjustments, and perhaps vibrance. Change the vibrance setting and saturation. Once you're happy, click OK. You can also use filters. So you can go to the filter menu and stylize and oil paint. Set the cleanliness and stylization quite high and click OK. Of course, you can use other filters as well. You can also apply the filter multiple times. You can also go back to the image menu, adjustments and levels to brighten the image up a bit. Once you're happy with that, click OK. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always, always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator and many others. So please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.